Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the game Cleopatra and the Society of Architects. It's a very big box, but that's only because it has a lot of big objects in it. The game itself is very easy. If you'd like to know how to play this game, I have a separate video for that. Here's how you get it ready on the table. First, take out this base. Place it with these little stairs toward you. Then put this floorboard in it. Next, you have these four pillars. Put each pillar in the corners of the base, like this. After that, you take this board, showing a garden, and place it on top of the pillars. You could see it has holes in the bottom. Place it with this space toward the back. Make sure you push the board down so it's fully secured to the pillars. When you're done, it should be a sturdy construction. But be careful, it's still cardboard, so it can damage easily. The palace is done. Next, you can place this board in front of it. Make sure the number 5 is closest to the palace. You can already place Cleopatra on this space in front of number 1. Not on number 1, but in front of it. Then there's one last board, this one. You can place it anywhere you like around the board, but make sure there's plenty of space under that board. During the game you are going to place cards there, so you need room for that. Then take out these guys, keep them face down and shuffle them. When you're ready, place them one by one face up on these spaces. Now, let's get out some cards. This deck. They're all the same, so you don't need to separate them. Shuffle the deck and give each player three cards. But then comes a little process. Pay close attention. Divide the deck in roughly three equal stacks. According to the rulebook, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, so don't worry about that. Then flip over two of those decks and keep the third one still face down. Now mix up these cards into one deck, so about one third is face down and the rest is face up. I'm going to do a short shuffle here, but when you play this, make sure you give it a really good shuffle. When you're ready, just place the deck near this board on the table. Next up, another long process. Take out all these scarab tokens. Then separate them into different piles. One that shows scarabs with one on the back, a pile that has scarabs with two on the back, another pile of scarabs of five, these ones, and finally the scarabs with this on the back, this means ten. I recommend that you keep these piles separated in the box, so you don't have to separate them every time you play the game. Time for something easier. These little coins. Just get them out on the table near the board. We've got some bigger things to put out as well. All the things you can build during the game. Every item that you can add to the palace. All these things. They can take up a lot of space, but you can put them anywhere, somewhere on the side. Including these pieces. 
you have to shuffle them as far as that's possible, and then make a stack out of it. The last thing is all the player items. Pick a color, and then take a pyramid of that color. Two statues with that color showing at the base, here. This information sheet that you can keep with you. Remember that you already have three cards that were dealt to you. And you can also take five points worth in scarabs. Flip, well, take out three cards. If it's face down, don't flip them over. But place one card on each space here with this board. Again, if it's face down, don't flip it over. But that's it. You're done and ready to play Cleopatra and the Society of Architects. If you'd also like to know how to play the game, please follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching this setup and see you for the next one.